Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video we'll be doing the unboxing and have a first look at this Realme 2 Pro. And as you can see on the back, nothing has printed. This is actually a review on it, guys. And I'm unboxing this one actually a couple of days before the launch as I got the unit. So I don't know the exact pricing, but I've heard that the pricing will be very aggressive. And uh, it's powered by the Snapdragon 660 SoC and will come in four uh six or eight gigabytes they didn't even mention what is the ram variant that they have sent so we have to look actually so let's quickly open this up and i've heard that the pricing will be very aggressive uh for the base variant uh, that is with four gigabytes uh, i've heard that it will be less than fourteen thousand. then the six gigabyte ram will be 16 and obviously eight gigabyte might be about 18 i don't know the exact pricing i'll leave the links in the description area uh but yeah uh, this is what it is. It says Realme over here and the good thing is that even the base variant that comes with 4 gigabytes of RAM will have 64 GB of internal storage uh, whereas the 8 one I believe will have 128. So some uh, product guide and stuff paperwork as you can see basic info and we also get a TPU uh, case with this one and here is the device itself they have sent this in this nice blue color this actually i like it got bored of the black ones to be frank so yeah this is what the device is it has slight heft towards it but yeah it does have the fingerprint scanner on this one and again the dual camera setup and i believe it's a 16 megapixel uh, dual camera setup and even the front facing camera is supposed to be 16 so what i'll do is uh, during the uh, later part of the video uh, end section i'll have a lot of camera samples for you guys so that you can have a idea about the camera anyways let's continue the unboxing we keep this to the side and let me put it in the case and see because many people use it with cases so yeah if you apply the case this is how this is going to look personally i'm not going to use the case while i'm testing it so i'll just use it like this itself and guys this is not metal or glass it's again that uh, polycarbonate uh, plastic kind of a thing but this is metal the body anyways uh, let's look what else do we get on the the hood uh looks like a power brick uh, which is having a rating of uh, 5 volts at 2 amps guys so not a fast charger just a 5 volt 2 amp charger that we are getting inside the box so this is what we are getting and again this will be your usb uh, cable and it's still a micro usb guys so let's just open this up and see i don't know why they don't go with the usb type c and yes guys it's a micro usb they should have gone with the uh, usb type c because uh, they are going with good specs snapdragon 660 etc anyways that's what comes in the box there will also be a sim ejector tool so yeah i'll keep this to the side and let's actually look at the device itself and uh, i also have the realme 2 and uh, this is the realme 2 as you can see in terms of height uh, it's almost similar as you can see but yeah this is way more powerful and uh, let me give you a physical overview this is metallic guys this is not plastic the body we have a noise cancellation uh, microphone secondary noise cancellation microphone here we just have the power on off button uh, bottom 3.5 mm headphone jack main microphone uh, this is the micro usb port for charging and the speaker went over here uh, we have the volume rockers over here and uh, some uh, tray let's have a look at it if they're giving a dedicated micro sd card or yes we are getting a dedicated micro sd card good thing and two nano sims so yeah that's what we have and uh as you can see the notch is very tiny on this one uh but uh yeah and the fingerprint scanner is here on the back and we have the realme branding and again as you can see it's like a mirror here from the back anyways guys let me just power this up and by the time it actually boots up and i set this up let me give you a configuration overview this realme 2 pro is having a 6.3 inch full hd plus screen in the 19.5 is to 9 aspect ratio and it's powered by the powerful snapdragon 660 soc which is an octa core processor it comes in 4 6 or 8 gigabytes of ram and storage would be 64 or 128 gigabytes moving to the camera it's a dual rear camera setup 16 megapixel is the main one at f 1.7 and the front facing camera is also 16 megapixel with aperture of f 2.0 it also has a fingerprint scanner and 3500 milliamp hour battery 
So guys, I've just finished setting up this device and notice the notch, the notch is actually very tiny so it doesn't uh, obstruct in my personal opinion. And uh, this is also coming with color OS 5 which is found on most Oppo device and again as you can see quite a bit of junkware is sort of uh, pre-installed on this device. So I personally don't like junkware that is pre-installed. Let's see if we can uninstall this uh, UC browser and uh, oops, delete. So yeah, it's allowing us to remove some of the junk wear. Uh, and again, quick toggles over here. We also have the auto brightness sensor. And if we go here and go to about the device, um, about the phone, as you can see, it's running on Android version 8.1. Uh, so that's a good thing. And they have sent the uh, eight gigabyte RAM variant to us. As you can see, that has 128 gigabytes of storage. And out of the 128, only 103 gigabytes is sort of available to us. So that's what is it is regarding the storage. So let's just go back. Uh, so this is the typical color OS UI, not my personal favorite, but yeah, it gets the job done as you can see. So software updates. It might find an update. No, it's already on the uh, update. So let's go back and let's also test the fingerprint scanner here. It's on the back. And I have to say it's very, very fast fingerprint scanner. No issues. The moment you touch, it is unlocking the phone. So the fingerprint scanner is good, but also it also has the face unlocking. And uh, as you can see, it unlocked. Let me show you. It's locked, I'll just bring my face near and it unlocks. You can disable it and automatically go to the home screen from settings if you want uh, by default, but yeah, when it unlocks, you have to slide like this. So that's what it is regarding the unlocking. And this is part by the Snapdragon 660 SoC. So in general operations also, it should be fine in my frank opinion. And uh, again, uh, not a big fan of this UI, but yeah, that's what you're getting with this one. And uh, let me also look at the camera on this. Uh, because it's a new 16 megapixel and it's in the dual uh, setup so let's quickly have a look at it what it is and what it does so i'm just going to agree to that and uh, let me just bring this object nearby so shutter speed is fast if you notice and uh, we have that tap to focus and we also have the 2x zoom on this and obviously as uh, it has that the beauty mode and also the ai mode uh, in the beauty so again if uh, you like that that is there and hdr auto is there this is a nice thing actually uh, hdr auto is something that is actually useful uh, this is the front facing camera and again the smart beauty is there i'll disable it this is disabled and let me take a picture and if, if i enable this on this is the depth effect that the portrait mode and you can go into the ai mode it is smoothing up the skin if you go over there so yeah, that's what it is. And uh, uh, let's just go back. And uh, let me actually do one thing, guys. Let me actually take some sample shots with this device. I'm actually traveling. So I'll include some of the sample shots that I've taken while I'm traveling. So here are some of the sample shots that I took with this uh, device when I was in Goa. And again, as you can see, the camera performance was actually really good and it actually surprised uh, me. And again, some random uh, snaps that I've took in Goa. We actually stayed at this resort that is W, a nice one. And even in evening uh, conditions, uh, actually uh, it did a far better job than I expected. And some quick samples uh, taken with the front facing camera of this Realme 2 Pro. And it also has that portrait mode. So took these samples in that uh, portrait mode so guys that's it for now for the unboxing and first look at this realme 2 pro what do you guys think about this uh, device would love to know your thoughts in the youtube comment section below and guys if you have any other specific questions regarding this device do let me know in the comment section below i'll also try to post a faq video very soon so guys that's it for now for uh, this video and guys if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video take care guys